Hi guys, been a while since I posted. I was traveling. I was in Minnesota and then Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I am going to be very far behind in my reading. I already know I'm not going to finish all of my books that were my goal for this month. And on top of it, a bunch of holds from the library became available to me. So I have a whole lot going on um, that I hope to get on. So I'm going to do this in another way just quickly so you can, I'm going to try this out to show you what I'm currently reading. So one book that I'm still reading but it's getting the least attention is Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders. I'm about halfway through with it. Um, there's multiple reasons why I have been unable to finish this book and I do want to talk about them further in a video. I've listened to two podcasts about it and it's interesting they came from two different points point of views really but I think that this book was a little different than I had thought originally and it's getting a little bit less attention unfortunately than I should just try and finish it. I did start two audiobooks on Hoopla through my library. Um, one is The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer and I was pleased. Um, I actually was quite interested when I started reading this or listening to this um, especially because she is from the Boston area and who would have thought that statuing was like such an interesting thing. Um, so I'm listening to that and Fahrenheit 451. Um, hopefully we'll gain a little bit more on those books when I am driving uh, coming up shortly so I'll need some audiobooks. I'm reading Assassin's Fate. The Fits and the Fool, number three, the final trilogy, and it is epic, and I'm about quarter percent done. It's so good. I read a chapter before I go to bed every night, and I don't want to put it down, and therefore my sleep has been quite lacking. I'm still reading Minds of Winter by Ed O'Loughlin. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm about 30 percent, and it hops between different time zones, so the, the first time zone is... Um, actually on the expedition that is lost um and the reader knows this expedition never is lost and never comes back and so we're on the ship trying to figure out their shenanigans going on as well as there's a present day story with a woman who is trying to figure out how her grandfather is involved in all of this so this one is picking up steam and I'm quite enjoying that I'm reading Evening is the Whole Day by Preeta Samarasan. Um, this is our Read Around the World book club. This is the one based in Malaysia. I really did enjoy this book to begin with, um, but it's getting, it's, it's kind of slogging me in some family details. Uh, the writer's descriptions are very interesting to me. I like them. I'm just, it's very, it's slow reading. Um, so I need to try and finish, get some more done with that one. And then a whole bunch of books became available to me that I had on hold electronically in my library. The first one is The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C. It's her new book. And I actually read about 30% of it. Um, it's really good. It's actually, that's grabbing my attention more than the other books. Um, so, it's, I don't know, it's kind of short, so I might just let myself finish it and then get to the other ones. This Cleopatra, I Am Fire and Air was available on NetGalley. I didn't look at it too, uh, too much in detail, but it's a very short book, and it's based on Harold, Harold Bloom's interpretation of, of Shakespeare's Cleopatra. Um, so not the historical fiction I was really looking for, but I'm still finding it enjoyable. I haven't read Shakespeare's Cleopatra, so it's probably a good thing. A couple other books that are available to me to read right now that I want to mention I'm just not sure that I'm going to be able to get to right away um, are The Underground Railroad by Colton Whitehead. Um, I really wanted to read this. I just can't believe the timing of when it actually became available to me. And um, through NetGalley I had a few approvals go through and one was the Seven Days of May. That is a historical fiction based off of the sinking of the Lusitania. So I thought that would be an interesting subject I don't know very much about. Um, yeah, so those are a, a whole bunch of books um, that I have 
to do some major reading on. I also really want to get around to doing a few more videos. I've been loving catching up on your videos. Man, YouTube is just the best, I just have to say. Anyways, happy reading everyone. Good luck this week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.